What's going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the arcade. So the arcade is one of my favorite businesses in GTA because it ties all the other businesses together. So once you get settled in the game, this business is one of the best businesses to have in GTA 5 online. So the arcade business was introduced to Grand Theft Auto in the Diamond Casino Heist update and you can purchase an arcade after meeting Lester Crest in the Mirror Park. This is where you will finally meet Georgina Chang and she pretty much just wants you and Lester to rob the Diamond Casino. After you guys go through this cutscene, you will be asked to purchase an arcade to be used as a front for the heist. So it's super important you guys go through this cutscene and talk to Lester before trying to purchase an arcade as you will not be able to purchase one until you go through this cutscene. The arcade should be purchased when you're at a point where you're pretty much set for businesses in GTA 5 Online. This means you have a crate warehouse or a vehicle warehouse as well as you have some of the MC businesses and a bunker and a nightclub preferably. It's super important that you have these businesses because this business isn't as efficient unless you're just trying to run the heist without having these other businesses. The arcade is a huge lifestyle improvement for the GTA 5 online environment. Like seriously, the arcade is one of the largest improvements you can make once you are financially stable. So you guys can pick up an arcade from May's Bank Foreclosures website. Just simply go on your phone, go to the internet, and then go to Money and Services, and then you can go through May's Bank Foreclosures and pick up an arcade. You can choose one of six locations, but the locations I recommend are the ones northern within the city, which includes 8-bit, Insert Coin, and Video Geddon. These are the three locations I recommend. I do own 8-bit, so that's the one I'm going to recommend to you guys. Once you purchase an arcade, you'll have to complete a setup mission, which is very similar to other businesses, especially the motorcycle club businesses and the bunker business. All of them require you to do a setup, so this is no different. And this setup mission will require you to obtain some equipment from an NPC driving a flatbed, and then you'll have to return the equipment back to your arcade so you guys can get the arcade set up. Lastly, after the equipment has been delivered, you'll need to complete the casino scoping mission to fully unlock the arcade's features. You'll pretty much have to go to the casino, take a whole bunch of pictures, and Lester will walk you through the information he needs so you guys can proceed with the heist and setting up the arcade so make sure you've done these two missions before you move on to actually trying to use the arcade as a business so I've broken down the arcade into two parts and the first part is going to be the main floor and the second part is going to be the basement so let's get started with the main floor so the main floor is pretty cool it's your classic arcade type environment with some extras on the side so the main floor includes a large screen TV which is pretty neat if you like to watch the shows in the game but this is primarily going to be used as an AFK area you can actually sit on the couch then disconnect your controller and you'll be able to reconnect the controller hours later and you'll still be in the GTA 5 online environment so you can AFK while you're accruing some business stock and then if we head on over to the bar you can actually get some free snacks and drinks from Wendy and you can also serve drinks to guests if you go to the far left of the bar which I thought was pretty interesting so this is definitely an area where you guys can get your snacks stocked up at all times uh, for free this is a location that a lot of players don't know about to get your snacks because everyone gets them from the CEO office from the facility in Kasatka but this again is another location you guys can stock up on your snacks as well on the main floor we have the jukebox which simply controls the radio stations playing in the arcade which is kind of a classic thing to have in any business then we have one of the most important parts of the main floor and that is the games. So it's obviously an arcade so there's lots of games and the arcade can be jam packed with different games you guys can play. You can purchase various games from the laptop in your arcade which is actually pretty conveniently placed at the main floor and as well as they have another laptop at the bottom floor that we'll talk about later on. My favorite game in the arcade hands down is Gang Wars. Let me know in the comment section below which game you guys seem to enjoy playing in the arcade. I've had a lot of fun playing Gang Wars with random players. and. And I just definitely recommend you guys pick up this game for your arcade. So something that's super important to mention is that you can manage your arcade games through your interaction menu. So if you hold the back button or the touchpad on PlayStation and then go to the arcade, you can actually manage your games, place your games and change the games you have within your arcade. So this is super important for making money with the arcade and having a variety of games. The arcade actually has its own way of making money other than the heist and you can actually purchase these games to attract people to play in your arcade to make money. The problem is these games are actually very expensive and you make very little from them. So the solution is to buy the cheapest game and fill all the slots with that one game. This may not always be the most optimal way to make the most amount of money 
per hour, but it gets you pretty close to the maximum income for the arcade. So if we head up on to the upper level of the main floor, you have the office. And this can be found on the right hand side of the bar. So if you're at the bar or you see the jukebox and you go to the right, you'll see a door. You can go up the stairs where you'll actually find some vital components to the arcade. And this includes the Pixel Emporium laptop. The Pixel Emporium laptop allows you to buy games for your arcade and of course upgrades for your arcade, which include the master control terminal and the drone station. Once the master control terminal and drone station have been purchased, you'll actually find them in the basement level of the arcade so we'll go ahead and talk about those later on in the basement portion of this guide within the manager's office you'll actually find the safe this is where your arcades profits from the games will be stored the vault has a max capacity of 50,000 so be sure to empty it out periodically so that you're constantly making money the maximum you can earn per game day or 24 minutes in real life is 5k so that works out to be 50k every four hours of real life time spent in free mode. So this isn't like a crazy money making method you're going to be making off of these arcade games, but it does help you pay for bills and other light expenses within GTA Online. So that will bring us to the basement level of the arcade. In the basement level, you'll actually find another Pixels Emporium computer. This again allows you to buy the games and upgrades for your arcade. And then you'll see something that is probably my favorite part of the entire arcade and that is the master control terminal. The master control terminal allows you to access all your current businesses from one spot. Yes, this means no more traveling from business to business to restock supplies. This just makes life easier and less time consuming for those running businesses in GTA 5 online. Being able to manage all your businesses from the computer is actually truly game changing and that's why I recommend it as the first upgrade for your arcade. Just keep in mind, I do not recommend selling from the arcade as you will have to travel to the business you are selling from while the timer is running down this means you will be losing time going from the arcade going to your bunker for that delivery mission so simply do not sell from the arcade terminal this is strictly pretty much used for resupplying and managing your businesses not selling from the arcade do not sell from the arcade okay with that being said we'll move on to the next piece which is the drone station the drone station is available right behind the laptop in the basement where the players can make use of these drones that are pretty much used to observe the area it also allows you to shock players and detonate which is pretty fun they work pretty much the same as the drone from the terabyte works but they seem to have like an infinite range like they can travel very very far I've never had problems with going a far distance away from my arcade so definitely really cool if you guys want to troll and you can actually have four of these drones running at a time and they do have a cooldown after they have been exploded but the cool thing is is if you're a solo player you can just swap from each drone station over and over again and by the time you've used one drone the next drone is up and ready to go so you can actually have quite a bit of fun with this drone station but I definitely don't recommend it for beginning players as it is a luxury type item and is not a necessity to help you make money in GTA online speaking of making money on GTA 5 online the heist planning board is in the basement as well this area is dedicated to the casino heist where you guys can make millions of dollars here you can use the planning board to select your approach crew equipment and more also you can purchase practice equipment for the heist which I believe most people agree that this is a complete waste of money and is completely useless so I don't recommend buying these practice equipment pieces but overall the heist planning board this is obviously not a casino heist guide but the arcade is where you guys would go ahead and start up the casino heist if that's what you wish to do I do believe that the KO Perico heist supersedes the casino heist on many levels but some people still love to run the casino heist as it is fun to do with the duo player and people just have it down pat efficiently so definitely something I would consider running especially if you haven't played that content yet and last but not least after choosing your support crew for the heist a weapon workshop station will also be added to one of the bays once you have selected a gunman here you can purchase ammo upgrades and weapons this will also give you the opportunity to upgrade selected weapons to the mark II variants of that weapon so this is really nice if you haven't purchased a weapon workshop in any other building in the game you actually will be able to get mark II weapons fairly quickly by completing some of the heist preps which is actually kind of broken if you're a beginning player in the game and have an arcade so that pretty much covers everything to do with the arcade to my knowledge 
So there are small things, for example, if you were to get into the getaway car that you have received in your arcade, you'll be able to upgrade it. You can pay for like upgrades. I think it's like $10,000 for bulletproof tires. And then there's like a level two upgrade where you get bulletproof tires and some armor. And then level three, you get like a turbo boost armor and bulletproof tires. That's something to consider going ahead and doing. But overall, that's the main portion of the arcade and all the features it will give you. There are tons of games that I think you guys should pick up to enjoy. Gang Wars, again, is probably my favorite one in the game. Please do not hesitate to correct any mistakes I have made. I may have misspoken on things I do all the time. I'm human. I make error. But I think this guide will overall give you guys a good idea of what you should be doing and what's available to you within the arcade. Again, if I made any mistakes, please comment in the comment section below. And if there's anything that I missed that you think would be valuable to players when it comes to the arcade itself, please, again, let me know in the comment section below. I'll probably put something together and pin a comment and add it to the description because you guys are super helpful and insightful when it comes to making things run efficiently with different heists and businesses and you guys I always learn something every time I post one of these videos and I appreciate you guys for that you guys are really truly the best if you don't mind don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching